everyone in this uh, short video i want to talk to you about two versions of uh, high hyaluronic acid high hyaluronic acid sodium hyaluronic okay is the name for it um this acid is very good for making uh serum that will make your skin really you know supple that's going to give you a very soft and uh, smooth skin if used uh frequently now there are two different types of uh, sodium high hyaluronic acid i uh, have uh, the low molecular weight one which i have on the side here and the high molecular weight one which i have on the side here. even though you don't really have you don't know the difference too much until you touch it okay now here is the thing the low molecular weight one have a good penetration rate because it has a mo low molecule it can penetrate the skin better so if you use this to make serum it's going to function better okay than the high molecular weight one now another difference is when you use the more low molecular weight one to make serum you will have to add a thickening agent to it to make it to make it thick okay if you use the low molecular weight to make serum okay you don't need a thickening agent you just have to uh, sprinkle it on the water and allow it to stay for at least two to four hours it's going to make a gel for you but the low molecular one which is um, present here in uh, in canada uh, which we have here in canada it's the low molecular weight one it's penetrate better into the skin give you more beautiful radiant skin uh, this doesn't penetrate that much okay it does not penetrate it even though it makes gel right this doesn't make gel except you had a thickening agent like hex or guar gum or xanthan gum to it before it makes a gel but this one you don't need to add any gum just add it sprinkle it on your water allow it to hydrate it's going to turn into gel so please keep this in mind going forward on your this is the major difference between these two hyaluronic acid in my next video i will show you how to use the low molecular weight one i don't bother about this even though this is what you buy from most skincare brands because it's cheap right this is what you buy from i mean when you want to buy a serum this is mainly what they sell to you but the real a uh, real formulator will work with this it has low molecule the penetration rate is faster and this is what you want to consider to make your serum okay so keep that in mind going forward this one you can use it you can you can use it as a gelling agent if you want to you if you have some time in your hand but hey i don't buy this i prefer this one this is good cost effective you just have to add a gelling agent to turn it into gel and it penetrates faster and it's good for your skin so thank you for watching this is why i made this video because someone asked me to make a video on it and um, that's why i made this video so go for this anytime go for this use a gel in it and to use it to make serum the high molecular one one isn't though it's not as common it's the penetration rate is too slow okay this penetrates faster this penetration rate just stays on the skin it doesn't go deeper than that this one is going to go deeper okay it's much better for your skin okay thank you so much everyone for watching if you want to learn more about formulating great and stable skincare products the channel for you so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new video want to learn more about making great and stable skincare head over to naturalskincareschool.com thanks for watching everyone